There's a digital artist named Jonas who recently had his artwork stolen by a pop music artist named Aaron Carter who used the artwork to promote his merchandise. Upon discovery, Jonas issues this tweet. Hey Aaron Carter, you're using my artwork to promote your merchandise. I have not given you permission to do so. My art is being commercially exploited by people on a daily basis. We artists have rights too. Aaron Carter responds, <laughs> You should have taken it as a compliment, dick. A fan of mine sent this to me. Oh, here they go again. The answer is no. This image has been made public, and I'm using it to promote my clothing line, AaronCarter.com. Guess I'll see you in small claims court, fuckery. Damn, Aaron Carter, I didn't know something being public meant you could just use it without permission for monetary gain if you only had a brain. You know, I bet art thief Aaron Carter would understand if this was happening with his own terrible music. Just kidding. Nobody's heard any of that for 10 years. If any of the older viewers feel like maybe you've heard this Aaron Carter name before, it's because you probably have. 10 years ago. He used to sing with people like Hilary Duff on that thing everyone was forced to watch. What's it called? Television. Right. But this was well before his addiction to painkillers, admitting to having a huffing addiction, or fearing being HIV positive? What the f- Okay, okay, so Aaron Carter is an art thief. At least he doesn't do this kind of thing habitually, right? Wrong. Wrong. Just kidding, Aaron Carter's been caught stealing art from another digital artist that goes by the handle Shimhack in the past. So, if you're making any kind of art of a lion, there is a thief on the prowl, no pun intended. And his name is Aaron Carter, serial art thief. And uh, he has probably stolen more art than we're going to be able to catch. He just uses other people's word to promote his own jizz merch while pretending to have made it himself. Now, I don't know if Aaron Carter got the idea for his merch looking in the mirror after a trip to a truck stop bathroom. Well, that's a, that's a fairly educated guess. Huh? Now you too can look like you're on drugs, and you're the type of person that your family will have to file a restraining order to keep away from them. <laughs> that's right. Aaron Carter's brother had to get a restraining order against the dude. You talking HIV drug thief, baby? I, I, I didn't write it. <laughs> I did not write it. In another tweet, Jonas says, here's to all the artists working their butts off every day to improve and make their dreams a reality. Aaron Carter and others may think we just shake these out of our sleeves in no time, but no one gets to see the tears and sweat that we put into our passion. Hashtag art theft is abuse and below that a picture depiction of the progression that he's made from age 12 to age 23 as far as his art is concerned aaron carter responds <laughs> here's two clout chasers i think you meant the other i think you meant two with one o boy aaron carter that just sums your ass up like a blue check mark <laughs> I was speaking about my family, and a fan sent me the work. You're absolutely immature, and I create my way. So, ain't no punctuation in what you're writing, neither. He obviously meant yours and you are, but look at what I'm reading. I'm having to read this. Get your shit together, Aaron Carter. He, he's saying, you're absolutely immature, and I create my own artwork. Stop trying to get clout out of my name, bitch. Aaron Carter? Clout? Wait a minute! Who are you? If you weren't stealing someone's art, the world would have forgotten you existed. And after this, they're gonna go right back to not remembering who you are. So, ending your own tweet with asshole challenge, it's kind of ironic, isn't it? Ironic. I promote people. <laughs> okay, bro. Hashtag fuckery. Boy. Aaron the Art Thief Carter literally hit him. With the yeah I stole from you, you should be grateful. Most people with a brain, of course, wouldn't know who Aaron Carter is, so who knows how long he's been doing this kind of crap. All we do know 
is that scrolling down his feed is like diving into mental illness itself. Fuck you guys and the artists you think I stole from. I didn't steal from anybody. Didn't use him to monetize anything so you can fucking suck a fuck. Except he did. He did use an artist's work to promote his shitty gear and it's not the first time that he's done it. You hear all that hesitation in his voice? It's like... It's like he's scared his mom gonna come in and just pop his ass. What are you in here doing? No, mom, I'm getting trolled by the people whose artwork I stole online. They should be grateful. No credit for artists, all right? We should take this dude's work and not credit him, but who's wanting to listen to Aaron Carter? It's like we've got another mystery on our hands. Fuck you. It's staying up on my account, and there's not a goddamn thing you're gonna fucking do about it, so shut your fucking mouth. Jesus, he kissed his mother with that? Oh, wait, his family got a restraining order against him. No, I didn't steal. So, oh, do I kiss my mom with my, my mom with this mouth? Yeah, you probably already know that, you fucking stalker. Wait, are you saying that that you do kiss your mom? Actually, you know what? I'm not deleting it. It's staying there. Meet me in small clans courts. Uh, he then proceeded to take all of this stuff down like he said he wasn't going to do just now. So I guess a bitch is as a bitch does. And we could talk about Aaron and his constant ongoing court cases going as far back to when he sent those nudes to that 15-year-old girl. But we'd be here until the sun comes up. So this isn't about him. It's really just about the person he stole from. And here's hoping that he gets a little more traction that he otherwise might have because of this thief coming in and not understanding how any of this works. You would imagine as a dude that probably made a, a little bit of money back when he was a fresh faced little pie in the face Nickelodeon douche. But I guess I guess when you're off your rocker and you're not taking your meds and you're constantly in and out of court, you just don't know what's going on. If only his life coach could offer him some coaching. But Jonas's Etsy and Twitter are in the description, and you are free to uh, check him out. He is uh, very talented, which is more than we could say about some other people we've been talking about in this video. Ugh. Here's hoping this kind of thing happens less to artists. See you later.